Hey, this is Michael. Today I would like to talk about creating a new era for you and your pets. Lately, I've been hearing so many people socially and in the media talking about the new era that they're in, whether it be their, their happiness era, or I'm in a freedom era, or a congenial era, or an era of limitless joy. It's a really common term that people are using to declare transformation, change, and a new beginning within their lives. And this can really apply to our relationship and lives with our animals. And when we are really trying to make some shifts in the behavior of our animals or our relationships with our animals, identifying an era or a new era is a really powerful way of manifesting the energy of what we would like to create and opening up that new chapter with our pets. So simply just identifying the era that you would like to create. Maybe it's I'm in my confidence era or my leadership era or my calm era, my meditative era or my my era of listening of uh, my dog's era as a follower. He's in the follower era. Whatever it may be, identifying what that era is you would like to create and really setting an intention to embody that. Eras are a, an example of transformation, of a, uh, a, new, a new beginning. And every day, every moment is an opportunity to create a new era, to create a new beginning, to create new energy that's more in alignment with our highest good, letting a go of of old stories, of old narratives. And so often people really attach to narratives that aren't true narratives, who we are today and who our animals are today. So really identifying the era you would like to create and then visualizing it, how that would feel to be in the new era with your animal. What would the day-to-day -day experience be in this new era? If it is an era of balance and, and um, and good behavior, imagining what that era looks like and feels like for your animal, for your dog, for your cat, whatever animal it is, as well as for yourself and for your whole home, your whole family. Visualizing it and really identifying it as an era because in doing so, it infuses and amplifies the, po the process of manifestation. And so identifying, it's just like using um, a vision board or a, a magical creation box, often referred to as a God box or a man manifestation box. Any of these, these tools, processes, and techniques are creating a, a point of reference and identifying what we would like to create. So I encourage you to think about the era that you are creating for yourselves, for your family, most importantly for your animals and the relationship that you share with them. So feel free to share with me in the comments or email to me if you'd like to the era that you're creating with your animals and I encourage you to give it a try because it's very powerful and why not begin today this moment with a whole new era because we all deserve it. We all deserve the highest good especially our animals.